Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Friends, in today's video I will tell you that if you are planning to visit Lakshadweep, then you must watch this video because in this video we will tell you how to reach Lakshadweep. How much does it cost and how to get a permit? Friends, before proceeding further, if you have come to our channel for the first time, then subscribe to our channel and press the red bell icon button so that you get to see such informative videos first. So friends, let's start. Friends, in this video we will tell you how to reach Lakshadweep. Which way or way will be better for you? But first let us know a little information about Lakshadweep. Friends, Lakshadweep is about 440 kilometers away from Kochi, Kerala. Lakshadweep is a group of 36 small islands. The total population in Lakshadweep is about 64,000. The area of Lakshadweep is about 32 square kilometers. The languages spoken here are Malayalam and English. Friends, the names of important islands in Lakshadweep are Kavarati, Agatti, Amini, Kadmat, Kilata, Chetlat, Vitara, Ando, Kalpani, and Minikoi. Friends, according to the administration, there are 13 banks, 13 guest houses, 10 hospitals in Lakshadweep. Friends, let us now know how to reach Lakshadweep. Friends, you can take a flight or train from any part of India to Kochi, Kerala. The first thing you should do when you reach Kochi is to get a permit to visit Lakshadweep. Friends, there are some such sensitive or protected places in India, where you must take permission from the administration before going. Lakshadweep is also one such place. Friends, there is the Office of Lakshadweep Administration in Billington Island area in Kochi. You can apply for the permit by visiting here and even before starting your journey you can apply for the permit online. Friends, while applying you will have to upload the date of travel, which island, documents. The permit remains valid for 30 days and its fee is 300 rupees. Friends, after coming here, you will also have to pay 300 rupees as green tax at the airport. Friends, you can apply for the permit offline also, for that you will have to download the application from the website of Lakshadweep administration. First fill out this application. Then it will have to be deposited in the collector's office. But keep in mind that it may take time, so it would be better if you plan in advance. Friends, keep your ID proof, passport size photo and permit with you. You will have to submit this permit to the police station or administration office in Lakshadweep. Friends, one more thing. Keep in mind that for scuba diving or wildlife photography, you will have to take some more permission. Friends, this was the way to get the permit, so let us now know how to reach Lakshadweep from Kochi. Friends, you can reach Lakshadweep in two ways. First flight. Second water ship. For both these methods you will have to come to Kochi, Kerala. Friends, there is no direct flight to Lakshadweep, for this you will have to go to Kochi. Friends, after reaching Kochi, if you want to go to Lakshadweep by flight, then flight is available to Agatti. This flight takes about one and a half hours to Lakshadweep. Friends, apart from flight, you can also go to Lakshadweep from Kochi by ship. According to the Lakshadweep administration website, flights are available from Kochi to Agatti and Bangaram Islands. Friends, according to Lakshadweep administration, boats are available from Agatti to Kavarati and Kadmat from October to May. And during monsoon, helicopter facility is also available from Agatti to Kavarati. Friends, apart from the air route, if you want to go to Lakshadweep by sea, then you can also take a ship from Kochi. Friends, these ships take 14 to 18 hours to reach Lakshadweep. But the travel time also depends on which island you are going to. There are many classes for travel on these ships. AC first class, second class, backbunk class. Friends, during the season, speedboats also run to go from one island to another. Friends, like Maldives, Lakshadweep also has white sand beaches. The best time to go here is between May to September. The temperature here remains 22 to 36 degrees Celsius. There is a huge crowd of tourists here between December and February. Friends, if you want to visit Lakshadweep comfortably, then you can easily visit it in 6 to 7 days. Friends, if you are a strict vegetarian then perhaps you may face some problems. But you will get to taste some dishes of coconut milk, banana chips, jackfruit. And if you are a non-vegetarian then Lakshadweep can be a good place for you. Friends, you can try these recipes as per your choice. And apart from this you can also taste seafood. So friends, that's all in today's video, we hope that you like this video. Friends, to see such informative videos first, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. So friends, see you in our next video. Till then take care thank you friends.